Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to part two of the Hypixel Alert Special. You guys, you're thinking, Lego, there was so much news in the last episode. How could there possibly be any more? And let me tell you, there is a whole lot to cover, so I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're ready, and without further ado, grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get into our first story. Now, if you guys remember the last episode of Hypixel Alert, I mean, I hope you do. It came out a couple days ago. Well, I covered a Skyblock update that was for wardrobe and it was really amazing, but you guys, if you play Skyblock, you might know there was actually a second one. And this one was coming from Miniclune titled Skyblock Patch 0.7.10 Sax Replenish Enchant Shift Clicking Mania. And I must say, this update along with the wardrobe one was absolutely outstanding. And guys, before I get into what this update contained, of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date on everything happening in the Hypixel network, then I would highly recommend subscribing to the channel. Currently, only 50 something percent are actually subscribed. So if the other 50% would like to stay updated on everything going on in the Hypixel network, then once again, I highly recommend subscribing to the channel. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this update. Now, one of the first things that this added are sacks. And sacks basically are like backpacks, but they automatically fill up with certain items. And you guys, there is so much storage in these, it is crazy, okay? And so each sack is made for a different type of item set in Skyblock. Like there's one for mining, one for farming, one for combat, you get the idea. And with in those sacks, there's different items that can be filled up. So bones, you can collect up to 20,000 bones in just that one sack. And also in that sack, you can have like 20,000 spider eyes, that type of thing, you guys. There is a whole lot of storage. And easily, the best part in this entire update is the personalized compactor. Basically, farming is a whole lot easier now because automatically it will convert the materials in your inventory straight to enchanted ones. I mean, that is just so, so good. And you guys, there is other stuff but of course, I'm just going to leave a link to this forum post in the description. And you also know me, I'm going to leave you with a video as well. And this one is coming from YouTuber Iceblades. And he made a video on it titled, New Update, Sax and Personal Compactor 6000, Hypixel Skyblock. And I personally thought it was a great video. So of course, the link to that as well will be in the description. I highly recommend checking it out. And now you guys, if you remember the last episode of the news, I said there were three milestones in today's episode. And well, there were, but since then there have been two new milestones on the Hypixel network. So without further ado, let's get into them. Starting us off this week, are you mad lol tweeted out? Thank you for 80k. Let's have a big party. You're all invited. And along with him this week, Tapple hit 800,000 subscribers. Now at the moment, I cannot find any post that he has made on this, like on YouTube or Twitter or anything, but I'm sure it's just delayed. I mean, he has to have seen it by now, right? And along with him this week, Time Dio tweeted out, saying thank, showing that he hit 200,000 subscribers. And now for our new milestone this week, starting us off, Omicron tweeted out, saying the problem with Milestone tweets is that there's nothing original and funny left to say, rip. Also, Pong, showing that he hit 60,000 subscribers. And along with him this week, Skywars YouTuber Betaroos tweeted out, saying, let's go! Little message for Lego Maestro, oh boy. As well as a person reaching Milestone, Betaroos, a very cute bridger. Okay, and then he also said, thank you all so much, what? Showing that he hit 50,000 subscribers. So good stuff there, you guys. Big congratulations across the board. I mean, some really huge milestones this week, like Dio 200k, 800k. I mean, really, you guys are getting up there. Big congratulations. And now, you guys, it is time to cover our biggest story of the day, and possibly even for the week. You guys, there was a big helper wave on Hypixel, but there's some controversy. A ton of people got helper this week on Hypixel, but there's nothing crazy there. The thing that people are talking about is one of the helpers known as Chasey Michael. For those that don't know, he is number one on the PvP run leaderboards. I mean, literally, he's the top guy, and well, people are accusing him of hacking. Players were making posts about this on the Hypixel network, only to have them get locked a short time later. So whatever Hypixel's reason is, they were taking it down the forum posts, and in fact, we have some tweets about it. One user tweeted out, Hypixel, this is unacceptable. Blocking mine and other people's posts that speak of our concerns and don't break the rules is ridiculous. Take a step up and address our concerns instead of censoring our posts. Showing a screenshot of a post he made on the Hypixel forums, and this actually talked about other posts getting taken down, and well, as you can see at the top, not open to further replies. And along with him, another user tweeted out, saying, Casey Michael is my favorite PvPer of all time. I love how skilled he is at jumping strategically. He uses this skill to make sure he never loses. Why am I not allowed to express my happiness? 
showing a thread they made accusing Chasey Michael getting moved. And those are just a couple of examples, but as you guys can see, there are a lot of hacking allegations against Michael. Now, I'm sure Chasey Michael is not happy to see these allegations, whether or not he is actually hacking, but there was one person in particular who is absolutely fired up about these allegations, and this is none other than the owner of the server, Simon. I can't show you the tweet he's replying to because it got deleted, but here's Simon replying saying low FPS and lag spikes in PvP run, the laggiest game with the most false accusations because of how the blocks, light updates, and other issues cost clients to somewhat desync with the server. I checked all the videos. The mode PvP run is known for being visually screwed up like this, and when you check replays, it's a totally different story because you can slow a time and avoid visual desync. Contact me again if you have the footage in-game. Now, you guys obviously can't see the original tweet, but it's pretty obvious Simon is defending Michael against these allegations. And you guys, not long before he made those replies, things got pretty heated. A player tweeted out saying, this is too amazing to not post here. My ban was a 90-day, and then it got changed to a 7-day five minutes later. I don't understand how this is user disrespect. I was just saying congratulations for getting helper to this guy who has been hacking in PvP run for over a year without a single ban. And the screenshot he posted it along with it is just what you'd expect. He basically is saying, congrats, Michael, now you can hack without getting banned, and Simon was not happy to see it. He replied saying, we investigated replays, reports, and the individual even recorded most of his gameplay, then got admins to look into watchdog data and much more. Everything is fine. If you guys keep harassing, I will be personally issuing bans and wipes across the board for harassment. I am beyond disgusted at the community for this. Absolutely unjustified harassment. I have never seen this before. I will be permanently banning people from now on about this topic if you have so-called proof do a proper report not twitter propaganda Woo! you guys can see simon has had it with those allegations against michael he is sure that he is not hacking and he's gonna start giving out punishments to people who keep talking about it now you guys normally i can never really give my input on this because it doesn't relate to me but for once i actually have an input for those that don't know i'm actually number 13 on the overall pvp run leaderboards yeah it's a fun game but the point is i've been in a lot of games with my Michael, and I must say, out of all the games, I have never once thought, man, this guy is hacking. Like, he's really good, but I don't know if Simon's right about the whole, like, visual glitch and everything, but from my side of things, he looks like he's really good and not hacking. That's just me, though. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have any say on this matter? But one thing is for sure, don't take it to Twitter. If you have a report to make on him, put it on the forum, because otherwise, Simon may be taking action. And you guys, Simon was talking about replays in his tweets, and speaking of replays, we got an update to him this week. Orange Marshall made a four post titled, Replays of Bed Wars, Sky Wars, and Quakecraft Accessible to MVP and Higher. And one of the main points of the four post is that in addition to Sky Wars, Quakecraft and Bed Wars have now been added with fully functional replays. Now the four post also goes down and talks about how long you can access replays for, depending on your rank. Now you may be sitting back going, oh, can he please give us access to UHC? There's so many b-hoppers and cheaters in that game. And well, he actually talked about this, and gave us quite an update. He says, as for the next games, the next one we plan to support is duels. While we are working on duels and fixing bugs in already supported games, we also don't forget about games like UHC. Though, there are still some hurdles that require infrastructure changes and more development work. We know that UHC will benefit greatly from having a replay system. That's why we're spending so much time on making it work. But due to our limitations, please be aware that UHC replays might only be accessible to staff to handle moderation actions. Based on the current experience of our staff, this system is a huge boost in productivity, and this will be a great improvement to UHC once released. Now guys, looking at the replies, I thought there was going to be some controversy, because he said UHC might only be available to staff. Like, that's a big deal. But while looking at it, it looks like people are only concerned about the pit, and even then, there is a small amount. Like, I didn't see a single comment about UHC, you guys. So maybe it's not as big of a deal as I thought, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I know UHC is a huge game mode, and people would love to have those replays, especially YouTubers. And now you guys for one of our final stories of the evening. This one is the next tournament happening on Hypixel. And it's a little different. For the first time since Hypixel made tournaments, they are doing a repeat tournament, Bed Wars 4v4v4v4. And you're probably thinking, that does sound familiar. How long ago was it when they did this tournament? And you guys, this was their very first Hypixel tournaments. Now looking at the forum post, nothing crazy has changed, except in the tournament rewards, there is a Bed Wars XP perk that permanently increases your Bed Wars XP gain by 5%. Now I checked, and this was definitely not a perk that happened in the past, but if you guys play a lot 
lot of Bed Wars, this could actually be a really, really big deal. And well, along with this, if you're kind of sad like me that this isn't a new Hypixel tournament, the Hypixel Network officially tweeted out about it on their Twitter, saying, Happy Monday, everyone. We hope you're getting ready for the Bed Wars 4v4v4v4 tournament later this week. Check out the thread for more information. And then they replied, saying, We know some feel disappointed that it's not a different game, but new modes for tournaments require a lot of dev time that we weren't able to provide. A new mode would have meant a delay in tournaments, but don't worry, the next tournament is planned to be a fresh game mode. And to this, Simon responded with a surprise Pikachu. Now, when I read this, I thought, well, why couldn't they do, like, 3v3 Bed Wars? Like, something they haven't done, but still in the same game mode. But I assume this also would take a lot of work, believe it or not. But if you've never played a Hypixel tournament, or in fact, if you wanted to play the first tournament and never had the chance to, or wanted to place higher, now is your chance for redemption. Like, literally, they have brought back the first tournament. Go and claim your title. And you guys, for our final story this evening, this one is kind of a sad one to end off on, but it is important to state. He tweeted out this week saying, Hello all, I will be taking some time away from social media and will be limiting my work hours for the next few weeks to focus on my health. I apologize if I do not answer your tweets or messages during this time. I have been prioritizing work, my comfort zone, thinking I would have time to fix it in the future. Unfortunately, the time to fix it never came and my health kept on declining. Today, I want to make this public statement about my situation to avoid any anxieties or guilt I could have in regards to my public absence. The reality is that my team is amazing and I have nothing to worry about. I apologize for the inconvenience and I am optimistic that I will overcome this challenge. See you soon, Simon. Now you guys, there is one tweet that I skipped in this because it was kind of personal and something I didn't want to include, but if you want to see it, the link will be in in the description along with other stuff. But you guys, this is pretty sad news. Of course, everyone in the replies to this tweet was wishing him well, and I am going to do the same. Simon, if you're watching this, honestly, I can relate to your tweet, and I am glad to see you stand up for your health. Now you guys, I did say that was our final story, but we do have one more to end us off, and this one is on a much higher note. You guys remember the last episode of Hypixel Alert, I covered the party system and everything that went down, you know, it went on, and then it went off, and then they said it was going to come back on, and it didn't, but as of the time I'm recording this episode of the news, it is once again back on the Hypixel network. Now I'm not going to be naive and say it's going to be up forever, but... It is back, and I'm assuming it's definitely fixed. They've probably fixed all the bugs, or at least a ton of them. So make sure to go check it out on the Hypixel Network. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for your news this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. One quick thing before I end off the news, I have made a change to channel memberships. If you click on join, you'll see all of the perks that we have there, and there's a lot. But now, if you are a two-month member, I will allow you to join all my parties during a live stream. I don't know if that's just me, but I think that's a pretty cool feature. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And of course, if you're part of the 50% that is not subscribed to the channel, I highly, highly recommend subscribing so I can keep you informed on everything going on in the Hypixel Network. Guys, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this two-part special as well. Hypixel Alert, now over 87.5 thousand subscribers. And I will see you next time.